Today, I'm going to show you how to install this Sonoff iFan 04-L. It's a Wi-Fi ceiling fan, so you can control it using Alexa, or you can also control it using this remote controller. It is 433 MHz, so yeah, you can use this with your Sonoff RF bridge as well. This is my old controller. It sits flush right next to the uh, light switch. Here you can see that I can turn it on and off. There's the uh, stop low, medium, high fan speed, as well as the reverse button, very useful in the winter time. This is for the light switch on and off. One other thing that annoys me is that it cannot do reverse, so you cannot turn this thing on in the reverse direction in order to warm up your house. Otherwise, the new Sonoff remote will easily replace this whole control unit. So here it is, I remove it from the, uh, the box. One wire was the hot, and that hot feeds into the module, and that module feeds the hot back into the fan. So basically that module was acting as a switch, on and off switch. Honestly, you can remove it if you want, or you can leave it in. If you remove the module, like I did, then you'll be left with this one big gaping hole right here. We're going to fix that with a 3D printed cover. This is the old module that sits right in the fan. You can control the old fan module with a remote. It uses the 300 megahertz, so obviously this will not work with the Sonoff RF bridge. On the right hand side, this is all just for the fan, going towards the fan. So your fan will have the black wire, the blue wire, and a white wire as well. Just connect those three to your fan. And on this side, it connects to your 120 volt AC power supply. Here is the new Sonoff module. Here you can see one of the wire being Wi-Fi and the other wire being 433 MHz. On the right hand side, it's a little bit opposite from the old module. This feeds into your 120 volt AC. And on the left hand side, this feeds into the fan. Again, it's the same color code with white, blue, and black. Here's the uh, fan that we're working on. You can see that the old module is still up there. Here's a closer look at the module. And here it is with the new module in place. So this new module from Sonoff is much bigger than the old module. I barely could squeeze it in. And as you can see, this uh, cup to cover up everything, it, it was extremely tight. If for whatever reason you have a smaller cup cover, then there's absolutely no way you can cover this Sonoff module up. No way. Now, as soon as you turn the circuit breaker back on, the module is going to make a bunch of beep. Two beep and then one long beep. So it's like beep, beep, beep. It will repeat the same pattern over and over again. Take your remote and then press any button on it to synchronize this remote with the module and the beep should be gone. Now within 45 minutes, you'll hear the same beep again. That's because it wants to talk to the Wi-Fi network in your house. So be sure to set up the Wi-Fi portion up with the app. With the remote, it's 433 megahertz. So this will easily talk to the Sonoff RF and that's how you can control it locally using Home Assistant. Otherwise, you'll be using your tablet or phone to control the fan via the app. Or the third way you control this is using Alexa, which I won't be going over because I'm not a fan of using microphones that's always listening. Now, to control the fan using the app, you need to download this app. It's called eWe Linked Smart Home. Go ahead and click on Add Device and then go down to Compatible Mode. It's very important that you go into Compatible Mode, otherwise it will not work. Now, in order to get the fan module into Compatible Pairing Mode, first you have to hold this button for about 5 seconds. It will make the same type of buzz as when you first started it. Next, press the button for 5 seconds again until it makes a bunch of beeps. This kind of beeps is even more annoying than the first type of beep. Next, jump onto your Wi-Fi network, change it from whatever your Wi-Fi network is to the IT blah blah blah, which is from the Sonoff module itself. Enter the default password, which is 12345678. Click on connect. Connect only this time because we really need the uh, connection to set up the, uh, the app and the fan. As soon as you jump onto the uh, fan's access point, then it's going to start connecting. You can name it whatever you want. And then click on Done. So using the app, you can easily turn the lights on and off. 
Go ahead and click on this icon right here. It looks like a network icon to give you even more options. Otherwise, it would be just basic with lights and fan. When you click on more option, it will let you control the speed as well from low, medium, high. If you click on the upper right hand corner with the three dots, it will give you even more options. These options will let you connect to your Alexa, for instance, and viewing other information. Alright, so this is what the finished result looks like on the wall. I cover up the hideous hole with a 3D printed cover. If you really want the new remote onto the wall, well, that's too bad because there's no way it'll fit into this decor cover plate. I guess it's possible if you 3D printed something, but for now, that's out of this video scope. So once we get this module online to control via the app and to stop that annoying beep 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 every 45 minutes, you can finally go into your router setting and block this thing from ever getting online again. I'm so happy to let you know that once I block it from ever getting online, it does not make that beep. So as long as it's on your network and not getting online, it still works fine without it making any annoying noises. Also, if you're paranoid of having this thing ever getting online, you can always flash it with Tasmodo or ESP Home. I'm going to share a link down in the description section for you to check that out. Myself, I control this locally using the Sonoff RF bridge. I'm also going to share a link down below with a Dr. ZZZ. He'll show you how to connect that using Sonoff RF bridge. It is pretty slick to control it using automation. That way, if I turn on the AC, then the fan also kicks in to help with distributing the cool air around. I haven't set up that automation yet, but right now you can see all the buttons ready to go. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed this video with the Sonoff iFan 04. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.